Happy automation. We are going to a CX question to express our value of variable. If you don't know about it, don't worry, I'm here to tell you. I'll also give a link of this page in the description. You can see here expression of variable to define it in an atom. Let's move on. Actually, here are three methods to express your variable. This method will be used in a different cases. First method is include a double curly braces with the at the rear sign and a reference and its name of variable. This will be used in a direct activity of Atoma. Like uh, I'll write here a loop when we'll put here curly braces right here variable it's suggesting that a variable you will choose here a variable then put here at the rear sign with the name of variable here is a previous word indi indicate a reference where we want to pick up value and second which is offer at the rear sign that's indicate a name of variable like v here is second method to express your value of variable its use case is very real but you will need to understand that the curly braces included a dot symbol it's using the http body you can see this word json at the right bottom you can use this type of expression variable and put as symbol of dot and then the name of variable you can use it in a http request body you can also use it in a custom data in a google sheet i'll show you in a google sheet custom data insert data right bottom corner the text will be where json and then you can put here same method which you are understood variables with the symbol of dot and put a name of variable and that's the first thing is a reference and then name of variable here is variable is not a constant and uh, maybe it's a global data or maybe it's a loop data you can also use here a loop data but it's require valid loop data loop data here is a third and last method to use your variable value that's a use in a javascript you go in a javascript atoma reference data here is the first parameter of this function is keyword which is previously used for variable so i'll also use it's a variable second will be a name of variable now you can assign it to a variable that will be used in your javascript there was three method to express your variable value that's really useful if you didn't understand the expression of variable how you can express this variable in your workflow you can comment below this video if it's really helpful you can thumb up this video